All right. Today we are focusing on the themes of the VBS race on. Yesterday I emphasized the race that has already begun. It's been on for a while now. All right. And for this purpose, let's look at Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Regarding this race that has been on for a long time, speaking of where we are in that race, the author of the book of Hebrews says this, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. So yesterday, I spoke of this race that has begun. That I told you, and I told you that it's more of a marathon. I mentioned it to one of you uh, yesterday. What was it this morning? And you said, well, I think a cross-country <laughs> race would be more appropriate. I'm going to bring in another element, but let's take a look at that marathon slash cross country one more time. It began in the mind of God, and it will culminate in a place in heaven. That's a picture of heaven, where we will dwell with him forever. For this purpose, God, in his mind, has planned and then uh, brought, to, uh, brought to pass in time-space history Adam and Eve to be his representatives. And even though they failed, he sent his son, King Jesus. He himself came in his Jesus in his son Jesus, to forgive the sin of Adam and Eve and to do what Adam and Eve failed to do, live the perfect life and give it to us to run and to live in this life. And uh, to perfect that purpose, he allowed us to participate in the work that he is doing to bring about that wonderful, beautiful kingdom that is to come to pass at the end of this marathon of salvation, this marathon of salvation. Now, when we look at this marathon of salvation, first, what we see is there, are, there is a crowd. There, there are spectators. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, and they are crying out, race on! Come on, get in there and race and run! Run this race. Run it! They are crying out to us. Who are these people, by the way? They are people of faith. They are our team members who are running with us. They are people like Moses, as we saw yesterday. People like the Apostle Paul, who have believed in God's grace and trusted in the Messiah rather than in their own good works. They trusted in the faithfulness of God and did not waver in that faith by God's grace, though they made many mistakes, though they failed in many ways, though they retained their weaknesses. God honored their faith by recognizing them with his own righteousness purchased for them in King Jesus. These are our forefathers of faith. So what we find out is that this race is not only a marathon, but it's a relay. The baton is passed down from Adam and Eve, through Moses, through the Apostle Paul, through our grandparents <laughs> who had faith before us, and through our own parents who taught us and li lived the grace before us, and through whom we received that baton of faith to walk and live out and run this race of salvation to keep on running as we look at the finish line where Jesus is trusting in his victory and not in our own efforts. We run with all the energy that God has given to us. And here's the first motivating factor is that we have this, cr this crowd, a huge crowd of witnesses, people who believed in Jesus before us, who are cheering us on in a relay race. The people at the end of the relay have to cross the finish line in order for the victory to be enjoyed. In a very similar way, we have this great crowd of people who have walked this faith before us. No, who have run this race, this marathon relay of salvation before us. 
and cheering us on to cross the finish line, to enjoy the victory that Jesus has already won. That means you're on. You are on. It is your time now to run this race. Moses' time has passed. Paul's, the Apostle Paul's time has passed. Your grandparents' times have passed. Many have already gone to be with the Lord. Your parents' time of running this race of faith is passing. And now it is your time. It is your time. So run this race. Run this race with all your heart because all of us are watching you to make sure that you finish watching you to see you perform, to see his grace in you flourish as you run. Oh. There was once a missionary who was a great runner. His sister thought that he should go on the mission field instead of running the races, running in the Olympics. And he said this, I will go to the mission field. It's a commitment I've made and I will keep it. But when I run, I feel God's smile. <laughs> this race of faith that you and I have been given the privilege to run, let's feel God's smile as we run it. Our time is now. So I leave, I, I'm finishing up with this last question then. Are you running this race? Are you in it? You are being called to run it. You are being called in a very crucial time. You are being called in a time that was built up to from all these ancestors and all these forefathers of faith. All these people have gone before you and laid the groundwork and they're looking to you to finish the work. Progress it further than it has ever gone before. Are you in it? Or are you just a spectator? There are many spectators here, but these spectators are participants. They're teammates. If you are just a spectator, then you will only remain a spectator. You may admire the faith from afar, but it will never be yours, and you will not have run the race. I challenge you, hear God's call. Find that the race is on. You're on. It's your turn to run. Trust in Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Join us in this race. The goal, the end, is closer than it's ever been. The race for you is on the sink. Come thou fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy grace, streams of mercy never cease. Songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious song, song by flaming tongues above. Here's the mount I'm fixed upon it, mount of God's redeeming love. Here I find my greatest treasure. Take and seal it, seal it for
to wander, Lord, I feel it, prone to leave the path that has been measured out from, for me, the track of the race of salvation, to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, oh, take and seal it, seal it for the finish line your courts above. As we offer our hearts prayer, King Jesus, thank you for actualizing it, making it a reality for us and for our children. We give you all the praise and glory and love you so much. Jesus, it's in your name we pray. Amen.